and I can't help myself but make a mess because I'm, I'm messy. I have a carpet on the floor below me and um, I just have paper on my table because my table's so full of paint that I can no longer see um, what I'm doing. So my first goal is just to get a base color under the entire painting. Um, and that's just me. This, I've always done this. I've always worked this way. That way when I put my painting over the top, it's, you know, not just pure plain paper or canvas underneath. And I'm going to take my violet and I'm not going to do anything except for make shapes. And I can see already the violet is too light, but that is okay because right now I just want to get the background of my painting in. So these shapes will be possibly what I would call shadows or something in the final picture. So let me show you what I, I did. It's, it's just where I didn't put shapes. And I'm just going to just, you know, scribble them around. I, I'm not... At this point, I'm not creating anything at all. I'm just putting in shapes all over the canvas. I don't even care what shape they are. I'm kind of making them maybe a little bit rounder, but I don't have to. I can make them triangular, or rectangular, or anything. Let me show you. Again, it's just... Shockingly sloppy, right? In fact, I might just take my whole palette here and I'm making a warm green. And I'm going to spread this warm green. So I'm going to make a vase and one thing you don't have to do with glass is put in all the lines. You just have to put in some of the light reflecting qualities. So there's my vase. Doesn't take a whole lot of um, doesn't take a whole lot. <laughs> Um, I might use my fingers to do a little bit of blending here, but I don't want to put in all of my lines because then it doesn't look like glass. I was in the, you know, I was looking at a a bottle in the windowsill. It was a bottle of something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a bottle of wine. I don't know what it was. And I noticed that the shadow, and the shadow doesn't have to go sideways. It's just that I don't have enough room to come make it forward. It can go back. It can go sideways. Um, if this is dark, then maybe this side should have the shadow. It's all I've kind of learned. I'm not sure I'm super good at with shadows and light refre <laughs> sorry, <laughs> reflections. I have always spent most of my time doing very abstract work. <clears throat> yeah, kind of wetting that a bit. But I was looking at this shadow in my window and I noticed that it had a light in it, like there was this bit of light 
and it was really pretty and so now I think all of my shadows will have like a bit of light and that's not enough light so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to add a little bit of white here something like that and then I can bring my shadow in darker think I'm done. What do you think? One of the things I love to do also just before I conclude is whatever I've done somewhere here I kind of like to bring to the bottom so I want to do a quick flower. Whatever flower this is I don't have a clue. Um, I want to do a quick flower down here so that or to uh, to try and bring the eye um, downward too. Um, not forget the bottom of my painting um, 